Today, we are going to explore an area of biology and ecology known as tritrophic interactions. What does this mean? Let's break these words down. Tri means three. Trophic means eating. And interactions are, well, interactions. You may have heard this called a food web. But wait! It is much more than that. It is actually an infochemical web. Because all of these organisms are influencing each other's behavior with chemicals. The major players in tritrophic interactions are plants that are food producers, herbivores that eat the plants, and natural enemies, which are predators and parasitoids that attack and kill the herbivores. To explain this, we don't need to go any farther than your own backyard garden. So let's take a look. Here is a tomato plant. Let's see what's going on. This plant is being eaten by a tomato hornworm, a voracious herbivore. The tomato plant senses it is being eaten, and this damage causes the plant to produce and release a bouquet of volatile chemicals known as herbivore-induced plant volatiles, commonly referred to as HIPVs. These HIPVs do a number of things. They can negatively impact the hornworm directly. For example, the hornworm might eat less and develop more slowly. This is called direct plant defense. HIPVs can also call in predators and parasitoids that act as bodyguards for the plant by attacking the herbivore, either by eating it or by laying an egg in it that hatches into a larva that eats the herbivore from the inside out. Calling in bodyguards is known as indirect plant defense. So, as you can see, plants are not passive players in this dance. They actively defend themselves directly and indirectly by communicating through HIPVs and recruiting bodyguards for protection from herbivores.